HubDB is a powerful development tool inside of HubSpot. It's a relational database which is built on the CMS part of HubSpot Content Hub and it's particularly useful when you want to present lots of similar information in the same kind of way and relational means that the information is just stored in a series of tables, rows and columns which is much like a spreadsheet and very intuitive to work with and update and maintain. HubDB has a lot of different use cases and can be used in a lot of different ways to help managing your website much much easier and the end result of all of this is that you have a very powerful intuitive editor in the back end of HubSpot but the front end is just displayed like any normal website page and crucially all of this is delivered within HubSpot secure reliable and easy to use CMS system so you benefit from having that closed environment that doesn't need the server-side code editing that's often required to get this sort of experience. It's all in a reliable, fully maintained and secure environment already. So like I mentioned, there are a variety of ways to use HubDB in your website. So let's have a look at a few examples. So for the first example, let's actually have a look at our own website and how we use HubDB in a couple of ways. So what you'll notice is around our website and on the homepage, for example, we have this our work listing where we pull in relevant uh, work resources or the latest work resources into web pages. And you can see it here on the homepage. You can see it in our work portfolio page here in a bit of a different format with a filter. You can also see it on our website design service page in a different format again. And all of this is being powered by our work HubDB table. So if we go over into HubSpot here and have a look at HubDB, you'll notice all of this is stored within the table our work. So within here, we have every piece of work listed with the client name, industry, region, any relevant tags, uh, the actual text that we want to display when we hover over, the text color that we want to appear depending on the uh, image, We've got different image sizes here because what you'll see on this page, for example, is that the um, card sizes here are different to the home page where we have this cluster of different sizes. Uh, there's actually three being shown here in all different sizes. And it means we can be responsive too and uh, display different card sizes depending on device size too. Uh, and then we've got the link uh, where we want the item to go. Uh, when we want it to actually sort in terms of date and if we want it to be live or not. So that's how our work is then powered across our entire website really. So we can either say, for example, the website service page show the latest work. So we don't really have to touch this. It's just whenever we um, add a line to that HubDB table, a new piece of work is then added to here at the, at the start. On our homepage, for example, we might want to be a bit more particular about the projects that we show here and display some of our most proud work. So we can handpick these items uh, here too. And let me just show you that in action. So this will all be very familiar if you've used HubSpot before, but I'll just go to the module uh, in the sidebar here, our work. And what you can see here is uh, that it's our work grid and I can choose whatever I want here. I can add a new item if I want to, and you'll see that add below here now, and then I get all of the HubDB um, listings here and the names of each work item, and I can select whatever I want. And I can remove that one, I can remove the others, all very seamlessly and intuitively. So that means whenever I reflect something on one of these, so if I wanna update all the images or I wanna update the link to the page, anything like that, it will update across any variant of that on the website. So it's very easy to store and maintain in one single place. Another place that we use HubDB is in our About Us section to display our people here. So what you can see, we've got all of our uh, people here in the leadership team and the wider team too, and they are all listed on this page. And rather than having a very, very long module on this page to update, we can simply create a HubDB table called Blend Employees and manage everything in one place here. So we've got names, job titles, the department that they're in, profile picture, and you'll notice we've got a cool little hover effect here, which shows a GIF to add a bit of personality to the team. 
and we've got that all there too and if we want any added extensions to uh, the individuals so like their LinkedIn for example then we can add that too and we can make that all possible what you'll see here is that not only do we show the about us team just on this page here if we go to the home page for example we can actually see that we use the team reflected down here too so again this is all pulled from one single database one single table um, all powered by hubdb so there's no need to go into the about us page and update a team member go into the home page and update a team member if any changes need to be made we can simply manage it all from this one single table right here another cool little thing that we've done with hubdb is actually power our email signatures by hubdb too so you can see here that we have our entire team here and all of their signatures uh, for, to use on email and this has all been styled nicely in the uh, in the module itself and we can copy this to the clipboard and then paste it in our email but this is all powered by hubdb again so it's really really easy to update and maintain it's not one long module it's in a really intuitive table format so we've got all of our team in here we've got their name their job title and if we want any uh, extended links in there too we've got all that just in one easy maintainable place so just a really quick example there of how hubdb can be used in a non kind of conventional website way now here's a bit of a different example with chi who are one of our customers and they manufacture garage doors and they manufacture a lot of garage doors in a lot of different specifications colors sizes and uh, product types essentially so they have and we have used hubdb quite widely across this entire website because they have such a large product cat uh, catalog with different product specifications different colors different variations that they need a way to easily store manage update and maintain information about their products and use it in different ways across the website too so let's have a look at a couple of those ways if we go into one of the product pages here let's take planks for example then we can see that this looks like a normal product page, right? We've got some images on the left, we've got some product information on the right, and then we've got quite a detailed overview in terms of the styles available. So different colors, um, we've got different sizes, glass options, specifications, and of course, this would be an absolute nightmare to maintain um, individually, which is why we use HubDB, but it's a bit, bit of a hybrid approach when it comes to these product pages so if I just dive into this product page here what you can see is the family that um, is selected here planks is actually driving most of this page so the description that you can see here the styles available all the colors available um, the window types available all of these options here including the specifications is all driven by layers and layers um of hubdb tables containing all of this information because again as you can imagine this table for example would be very overwhelming to maintain in a single module which is why we use hubdb for it um, but where we want a bit more refinement and a bit more flexibility like the buttons for example um, and what we want them to say and the images we can build that straight into the page to make sure that we give the customer the best experience possible in terms of maintaining data but also given a bit more flexibility on the front end where they need it like selecting these images for example an area of the website where you see this really come into its own is the model catalog area so if we hop into the residential uh, model catalog here you can see that we've got all of these variations and filters down the left hand side here so these are all hubdb powered again and all of this on the front end too for the individual models themselves this is all coming from hubdb so if i click into one of these now you can see all of this is hubdb powered um, all of these options down here all hubdb powered um, again just giving chi one single place in terms of the different tables to update and maintain all of this product information on their website which if you did it just through individual pages themselves would be extremely overwhelming and really really hard to keep up to date 
And just to quickly show you another area where it's HubDB powered is the color sample requester here. So you can see that we can select the collection that we're interested in, like planks, for example, and all of these options are now powered by HubDB because HubDB is letting us know that these are the available um, color sample options to select for that product family. So I can then select those and go through to a normal um, HubSpot form right here. So again, just another example of different areas of the website that all lean on these HubDB tables because you update it once in one place and it will reflect it everywhere. Now let's show a bit of a different example which showcases HubDB's dynamic page functionality. So here we've got Amazon Filters, another customer of ours. If we head over to the German version of their website and into products here, what you'll see if we go into one of these categories is all of these different products here and all of these are powered by HubDB. In fact, they don't even have their own page. They are dynamically created by line items within the table. So if we click into one of these, for example, you'll see that this description here, uh, this video here, the button, all of this is all powered by HubDB itself. Because if we even go to view this page, you'll see that this product page doesn't actually exist within the CMS editor. It just takes me back to the category page. And that's because all of the information is stored within HubDB. The dynamic pages are being enabled by HubDB. So every time a new row is created, that actually creates a page with the URL, etc. everything that you need for a page. But it just makes the editing and maintenance of these pages a lot easier to manage. Now we have a different example here with Bitbio to show you some more product examples of HubDB in action. So if we go into all products here to get to their catalog, what we'll see is we've got uh, numerous filters down the left-hand side here, like we've seen in other examples, and lots and lots of products being displayed here. Now, again, these are all being powered by HubDB dynamic products. So if we click into one of these, for example, and bring it up in a new page, all of this information that you see here is being powered by HubDB, with the exception, of course, of this um, little uh, B2B e-commerce um, piece that we've developed alongside the rest of the HubDB area of this website for Bitbio. But everything else that you're seeing here is all being powered by HubDB and giving them the flexibility and editability to maintain this website in a really, really easy way because there's a lot of products here that require maintaining and they need to be able to do that in a very intuitive and consolidated way which hubdb absolutely gives them and of course yeah we've got the added benefit here of having b2b e-commerce too which is really cool to integrate the two together so as you can see hubdb is a really powerful tool for website managers content creators marketers developers to maintain and edit a website at scale and at ease what you've seen in this video is really just a handful of examples of what's possible with HubDB. When you think about it, using serverless functions and coded actions in workflows, any information is actually possible to pull into HubDB itself and be displayed on the front end too. So when it comes to what's possible with HubDB, really the sky is the limit in terms of information that can actually be displayed on your website. If you can get the information into HubSpot via methods that I just mentioned, then really you can display any information that you'd like on your website in a really easy to edit way.